Hi guys, it's Rosie again. Just thought I'd do a really, really quick video on a question that I got through Telegram. So it's the usual, you know, a friend told me all about you and thought that you might be able to answer this question. And it was a legal question. And, you know, I don't give legal advice. I, you know, this does not create a lawyer-client relationship. But the question that was asked you know, you wouldn't have gone to see a lawyer about it. It's as simple as that. It's not not a, oh, I must get legal advice from a lawyer type question. But it does have legal consequences. So the person included a, a photo of what they had received in the mail. And it was received by snail mail, which I had to clarify with them. They got from the Australian Bureau of Statistics and... Oh, I wouldn't call it an invitation to participate. They were told that, you know, they'd been chosen to be one of 26,000 participants in the monthly survey. And it is the monthly population survey. And it's all about your employment. So if you're working, are you working full-time, part-time, casual, whatever, how many hours, what's your profession? If you are unemployed, are you looking for a job? Um, you know, what, what kind of job do you want? What are you looking for? And if you're retired, and I find this particular tweak on it a bit bit odd, the kind of questions that they can ask, is they can ask if you're going to, you know, change your, your opinion, and you know, what you're doing about it. And, you know, I've done a, a very short blog about this on my Rosie Cornell online blog, and it's like, um, yeah, probably I'm going to try not to die before I, um, yeah, so that I can enjoy my retirement. That's probably the extent of what someone who's retired would do about it. But, you know, that's just me. I'm, you know, I'm open to the idea that I'm possibly wrong. I have been known to be wrong many times. So the question was, well, you know, do I have to actually do this survey? Now, I hate the census that we have to do all the time. Um, I know why we have the census, or at least the reason that they give us for having the census. And I'm there, well, you know, I'm not sure they actually ever look at the real, the real reasons behind things. You know, just getting raw figures doesn't really mean much. I mean, it's like land developers say, oh, yes, everybody wants these hanky-sized blocks. And, you know, they'll just build five-story houses so that they get, you know, the equivalent of a of a two-room two unit on, on the block size because the block size is 100 and something square metres now. And it's like, no, what we actually want is one acre blocks so that we can spread out and, you know, not live in each other's pockets and, you know, have a bit of places for our kids to play, nice pool, nice garden. We all enjoy a lovely veggie garden. Especially nowadays, now that, you know, all of the other things are done. But land developers who can make more money, the more blocks that they can actually make are saying, oh, no, people want this. That The reason people are buying all of these small blocks is because that's what they want. They never think that that's the only thing available now because you buggers have absolutely overdone it. And for anyone outside of the Australian context in Australia, the word bugger does not mean what it means in other places. So if you're English or American, don't get upset. It's it's just, it's another way of saying, you know, you blokes, you. And then a few swear words. That would replace something that to us sounds normal. I should probably put in the link to the bugger ad, which I reckon everybody should watch because it's funny. I like it. I probably will put the link in for you. Anyway, I digress. So there's a monthly population survey where ABS says we always do these um, for eight months. You have to log in once a month and update your details so that we know what the population is doing. And so I thought, oh, that's pretty interesting. So, I'm, you know, I'm reading a bit more on the website and it's all pretty straightforward. It sounds really good. Um, your obligation arises out of the Census and Statistics Act 1905. So there are 
consequences if you don't actually participate, which I believe is a fine. I know it's a fine for the census, that if you don't complete your census, there's a fine. And I believe that's what they've done with this one too. But, you know, I only had to know that, yeah, and it's an obligation. So the, the thing that I found really interesting is that if you move, you don't have to keep doing the census. Because, or the survey, because this survey is attached to the house, not the occupier. So when there's a new occupant, they have the duty to keep filling out this thing, which I, I sort of think, hmm, interesting. Because then it doesn't really track a lot of employment, To in my humble opinion. I'm sort of there. Well, you know, if somebody's unemployed and they leave the area because they've got a job, you know, it's, isn't that relevant? But I digress. That's what they say. Anyway, they say that we've we've done this, and you know you can actually download the reports. So I thought, oh, oh, reports. I'll have a look. And yeah, they haven't actually published a report since August 2020. So it does that mean that they haven't done a survey since then? And they've just decided, oh, we probably should start that up again. It might be a good idea. You know, me, I I always go to the dark side. Did they stop doing the monthly surveys? Because quite frankly, they didn't want to know what was going to happen during the pandemic while we had lockdowns, when we had people, you know, not being able to go to work, um, working from home. You know, they, they just didn't want to know. And they certainly didn't want to know what the effect of the jibby jab mandates were. I mean, if you if you think about it, if you are a fit, healthy, fully qualified person whose only reason for not showing up at work is because some clown in the government said, uh, yeah, you must have the jibby jab or you cannot work even though you are healthy because I, I don't know how you feel about this, but I, I find it quite offensive to say that somebody who is unjibby jabbed is infectious. No, you can only be infectious if you've got whatever it is that you're supposed to be spreading. If you're healthy, you know, then you can't spread something. And everybody who says, oh, but asymptomatic spread. It's like, if we're going to go to asymptomatic spread, nobody can ever leave the house ever again. Because you won't know. Healthy people, oh, oh you might have something. Yeah, you might. <laughs> might not too. Um, the asymptomatic spread has apparently been disproven a lot but anyway my the reason for doing this quick video was because I'm really annoyed a people are going to have to fill out this thing b if you change your place of residence because you've got a job and you know you've got an opportunity to move because of your job then that changes the employment thing and they should really be following up on you and if it's about the house, are they wondering where the worst impacts are? And I've got a question, why haven't they been keeping up with this? Did they or did they not do these surveys during the pandemic? If they didn't do the surveys, why not? Was that our Minister for Everything, uh, Prime Minister Scott Morrison, who did sign himself up to be Minister for just about every portfolio going? I think there's a couple of ministers have their noses put out of joint because he didn't secretly sign up to their portfolio. So what's wrong with their portfolio? But anyway, it wasn't from him. Was it from the National Cabinet? Who decided? We don't want to know if that's what the decision was. I suggest there not being anything after August 2020 shows that they weren't actually doing these particular surveys. So why are they doing them now? Um, I've, I've still got to do a few things like, you know, about my book reading. I've got a book on statistics, as in, you know, how to lie convincingly using statistics. Because if there's one thing I know about statistics is we've got lies, damned lies and statistics, and they will tell you everything. You know, 99.9% .9 of people know that. But that's just a statistic I've got. I'm not going to tell you where I got it from. Not me. I don't have to. I'm not the government, but, you know, I don't have to anyway. So I shall leave you with that thought. 
if you receive a letter in the mail from the Australian Bureau of Statistics saying, oh, lucky you, your household has been chosen to participate in the monthly population survey, yes, you have to do it. There is an obligation to do it. Yes, it's a pain in the neck. Um, if you're moving and you absolutely don't want to move into somewhere where you do it, ask that before you buy a new house because, you know, I'd quite like to know if I have a an extra obligation arising out of moving a house. It's, you know, just seems really weird to me. Anyway, I shall leave you with that thought. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you up later. See ya. Have a great day.